First off today, a voice line that the actor definitely wasn't given context for. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. At least we can go. Well, what a lovely sleep. Well, let's see what the day has in store for- Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, you guys! You don't have to do all this for me. Oh, I'll have to take a look. Oh, you, you moved all the crafting stuff inside? Well, that's nice. Oh, a nice little, uh, workout area. Some place to sit down. And did you find me a red dress while you were scrapping everything in Sanctuary? Well, I, I mean, I'll take it. Well, what... Um... You guys, I love it. It's perfect. It's always nice to feel appreciated, you know? Carla had something useful. Carla had corn and potatoes plus mute fruit plus corn equals adhesive. Ah. <sighs> Not bad for my first day on the pummel horse. So, as you may know, construction does yield uh, a lot of experience points. I might say a bit too much, but it is what it is. So, we have three perk points. Gunslinger and Rifleman are definitely no-brainers. And the reason I wanted Intelligent 7 was that I get Chemist, so that at some point I can start making antibiotics and stim packs. Although, I don't think I've been... I haven't been running short on stim packs, but, well, I'll be able to make them either way. I'll also be able to make drugs, which I'll be able to sell. So, the general plan is to, to keep pushing south, but first... First, I think we head east. If we can uh, establish some sort of base of operations off in this direction, I'm sure it'll help us in the, in the long term. Well, and, and the short term. I think uh, bases are going to wind up being far more important because they'll give me a, a place to stop off and get water. Although as a result of all the construction earlier, I have uh, a lot of water. I have 48 bottles. I might have to drop it, but having too much water is not the problem I thought I'd have to be dealing with. There's going to be more than that. There's never just four. Is this... What is it done? Sweet. Probably not. Oh. Well, how about that? With that stuff stashed, I guess it's time to move south. We're gonna need some sort of backstory for this protagonist being as practical with, you know, mole rat guts as she is. I know the backstory of Nate, the husband, is that he's military. And all this could make sense in that context. But for a lawyer, well, perhaps she spent like 15 years in the scouts. You know, she started when she was six and Kept going till she was 21 and no one had the heart to tell her that you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I was a kid. There was definitely a distinction between uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. I'm not saying it's a good thing. It's, a... it's, it's long enough uh, ago that well, 
hopefully we can uh, laugh about it. I remember uh, the Girl Scouts used to have like six different merit badges for knitting, and the boys' merit badges were all like, kill a thing with a stick. Starting to look a bit more familiar. It, it's nice to see that the, there do appear to be biomes. I was a little worried that everything was going to be that thick forested, like the opening, but it does appear that it opens up places, and that's good, because that, that dense misty pines, it, it, it was a, an interesting novelty initially, but I think it would have gotten pretty old pretty quick, as I wander right back into it. But uh, here we are. Here we are at the Corvega plant. Doing housework? Thank you, bats. I did not think I was going to land that shot. Remember, these guys are going to hit very hard. If they hit. Ow. Up light side. Okay, so much for them hitting hard, though. Gotta wonder just how much, how much the the trees uh, affect uh, their visibility, whether or not it's whether or not it's as much as mine. Oh, hello. Muzzle flashes, or just let bats do the work for me. Well, you're not doing much, Codsworth. <laughs> We have our first death. So in addition to our first death, on the way back we had our first crash to desktop. So here's hoping that this will go a little bit better this time. Here's uh... I, I, I'm not sure if this uh, fog is affecting the enemy's visibility, but it's sure affecting mine. I was able to spot with the help of that, uh, the guys up top, but that one guy that was next to me, I just could not tell where he was. So, well, I'll have to get used to it. I don't think I'll be pulling it. But perhaps, perhaps if I stay over here a bit, I'll have better visibility. But that's, uh, give me a hand here this time. Very difficult to tell if I'm getting hits. Although if I'd gotten a hit, I think he'd be uh, <laughs> a little bit more interested in me. I was about to say I'd, I should try the sneaky room, uh, sneaky route in. I don't know if that's a good idea. Seems like there's a lot of fog in that region. Yeah, I think we're a little ways off doing fire support. Wonder, can you get in from the back? I don't believe so. Hmm. 
So, Codsworth seems to have picked a fight. Here's, uh... They haven't figured out where I am yet, although I'm pretty sure that won't last. Cotsworth's doing a great job over there. Or over there. It appears that's the, uh, the end of the help I'm gonna get from him. Hide. It'll all be over soon. Thought you could hide? No. Uh, I think I'll take their advice and be a coward. At least still until I get them uh, to lose me, which doesn't seem to be oh, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be happening quickly. I have to remember they will try to flank me. So, perhaps there is something to be said for attempting the sneaky way in. I do not have high agility, so I don't know how well this will work. But we're going to give it a chance. Again, I, I, I don't know if this fog benefits me or just them, whether or not their, their visibility is affected by it. I hope that's the case, otherwise it's a bit one-sided. We'll have to see. So what route do I want to take to get in here? It's coming this way. Picking up spotted in Lexington. I do not like the fact I'm still in danger here. Oh. Hopefully it's just you. A little bit of uh, XCOM accuracy there. 94% chance and a miss. this my way in? Oh, 
Let's see if I fare any better at close range. I don't know if I agree with that, but you go right on ahead. Something. Nothing like a little dust up to get the oil flowing, eh? It's possible I could have brought a more stealthy companion. Why do I get the impression Godsworth's about to go pick a fight? Nice of Codsworth to be my uh, distraction here. If at first you don't succeed, try again for a fourth time. Or is this try five? <laughs> Godsworth, jeez! <laughs> as much as I'd love to be walking out with these guns, there's no way I'm gonna have enough room to, uh, to carry them. There's just too much scrap here. screen does pause the game so let's take advantage of that all right so at this point uh, as I said before oh, strong back is right there <laughs> um, yeah I mean I kind of have to don't I yeah like all your dead friends I'm sure that's just a uh, just the jet talking Oh, that's so tempting, but they're so heavy. Hello, hot plates are always worth it. There's a raider up there, huh? Or a piece of one. Okay, so something's sensing me around here.
rubbish. He says to duct tape. Okay, so boss chamber, I do believe. We can shoot out that light. That'll draw a lot of attention. Then again, the light will draw a lot of attention as well. Who's there? Oh. Uh, the court I like um. It is so tempting just to... Wow, do I leave with this complete? Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Yeah. yeah. I mean, given how this has gone so far, I think we get the hell out of here. And what time is it? Shoot them all! You know what? Let's run. <laughs> or you know. Yes, you are, Codsworth. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, might as well uh, <laughs> grab these guns since we're not going to be uh, looting the place. Well, now that we're hidden, let's have a... Uh, Oh, it's not even 6 p.m. yet. Feels a lot later, because I died a bunch of times. But, you know, we did what we came to do, so let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to jump back up that, am I? I'm not sure going to try. About heading through this area, and apparently, uh, I'm right to be skeptical about going that direction. I know there's gonna be mines up that way, so we're not going that way. We want to get back to the street. We came that way, and presumably, it should be clear on the way back. I'm looking for train tracks. If it weren't for all the trees, I'd know where I'm going. Train tracks will take me directly where I'm going. 
but also take me past some ghouls. I don't think that's necessarily a problem. Ow. Gross. Uh, as much as I'd rather not, it's meat. Hey, get back your meat. At least... Is that meat? <laughs> is a bloatfly gland meat? It's amazing how much different you treat the beginning of the day than the end of the day. At the beginning of the day, you, you just sort of run all over the place and you get shot, you're not worried. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, you really don't want to lose it. But it's a, it's a bit too early in the day to just head straight home. So what I'm going to try to do is turn in this quest, tell them that all the raiders are dead, <laughs> even though just the one that they seem to care about is down what what are we seeing life signs. oh come on come around that corner Technically down here is a random event spawn point. So there can be anything in here right down to death claws. Generally speaking, they, uh, they tend to be leveled pretty well, but I don't think they, they lock out the possibility of incredibly tough encounters completely. Except the bloke fly. Hmm. Do I want the meat? Well, I do want the meat. The question is how much. Enough. I probably shouldn't have used uh, my good ammo on these. Well, let's grab that and then, I don't know, eat some food. And drop something. I think I have an infection. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, infection's the really rough one too, isn't it? Hmm, what am I going to do about an infection? How did I wind up going south? Oh, okay, well, back on track. I don't think I'll be coming across anything in this area, and if I do, it'll probably be pretty minor. But I'd love to come across the doctor, but... I don't see that happening anytime soon, to be honest. So infection, I think, means I'm going to be taking periodic damage. Yeah, there we go. I might have MRSA. What the hell is that? Oh, is that Lucas again? Tell me you have antibiotics. I know you won't, but... Caravan guard, caravan guard. Lucas, Lucas tell me you have uh, protecting antibiotics. My armor. That advice is free. Let's see what you've got. What you see is what you get. And not surprisingly, he does not. I did pick up some better armor. It wasn't particularly expensive. I'm going to take this uh, Wastelander's right leg, not because it's... Uh, well, because it's cheap, for one. I'm not sure why it's so cheap. Uh, this isn't particularly useful, but these stats are better than what I have right now. So I'm going to take it. Uh, but yeah, he did not have antibiotics. Okay, so that's an improvement. It's actually an improvement all around. 
Not much, but it's something. Now let's pop another water. That's not a water, that's a stim pack. <laughs> and that's another stim <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't usually use... Um, the, the quick slots in this game, still getting used to it, and uh, apparently not very quickly. Hi. You find those raiders? <clears throat> I took yeah. care of those raiders for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Of course, that uh, help will not actually materialize, but the sentiment is nice. Ah, oh, here it is. This is the random event spawn point. If I can't find antibiotics here, I'm going to head past the Drumlin Diner. Not antibiotics, but well, Meyer lurks, eh? Well, I can carry the stuff now. I I unloaded a bunch of gear on um, whatever his name is. So, oh, look at it! Look at how how much damage infection is doing. So, well, there's that stim pack and water. Yeah, so if I can't find antibiotics here, I will see if I can make my own. Otherwise, tell me you got something good. Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. Let's see what you've got. I got stuff that'll blow your mind. Well, no antibiotics, but he did have... Razor grain. Shop's open. What do you want? I want antibiotics. Sure. Let's take a look. A little bit of everything. Just hoping that didn't put me overweight. No, but close. Good, not good. Well, that could have... <laughs> that almost did go a lot worse. You notice uh, there's a bit of a delay from when I uh, closed the Pip-Boy to when it actually closes, so that uh, that ghoul managed to get in two hits. I wonder if there's a, a mechanic in the game that uh, saves you at that last lever, because it looks like that's happened a couple times. A couple times I've just gotten absolutely wiped out. But um, but it looks like if it takes you close, it might just leave you with the sliver for uh, for gameplay reasons. Wouldn't be the only game that does that. Ah. So glowing fungus. I do believe that might be an ingredient antibiotics. It would appear that my settlers have been hard at work here as well. Met yet. 
There it is. I can make it. I can make one. Let's take a look under drugs. So I can make jet already. That's good to know. Um, I'm not going to make it yet. Because I'm not doing too bad for money. But it's good to know that I can basically print some money with fertilizer now. Fertilizer and plastic. Well, I hope Garvey's happy. <laughs> that almost... That, no, that not almost got me killed. That did get me killed four times. <laughs> And then almost got me killed twice. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Yeah, I've never It'll used one of those. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Um, well... I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? I don't think so. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other, and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turn their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good with this story. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, sure. Sounds like a ceremonial title, right? You're not going to constantly have me out doing all these work for different settlements all over the place, right? If I'm the general? Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, Mum. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is... There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. No guarantees. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. Of course you do. <laughs> I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. My cause. Oh, we leveled up. Let's see, uh... A fine decision, Mom. Let's see what we got here. So... Okay, so armor and gun nut aren't till next level. Uh, I've been waiting too long. Endurance has to start going up. For General, if I may, the Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. Okay, so I get yeah. some pretty That's substantial upgrades. Ready next level so I shouldn't be what I can do is turn on the concealed armor though well so day four was a bit lively or deadly I suppose I got a whole new house to myself got killed four times and got an infection and made antibiotics for the first time and now I'm going to bed and going to sleep for a whole seven hours I'll see you all next time <laughs>